Hello! Welcome to my delicious life! Okay, so, andito na naman po ako. So, in today's video, like sa title, yes. uh, pag-uusapan po natin, eh, nito-discuss ko to you today kung ano yung naging experience ko on how to get a solo parent ID. Yes. That is yes. right. I'm going to discuss the process and the requirements needed how to get a solo parent ID because I am a solo parent. I am a single mother. Okay, so before any art hand, let's proceed. Okay, so magumpisa na tayo, guys. So solo parent ID. So sa mga hindi lang nakakaalam. Well, Solo Parent ID is a government-enforced ID for solo or single parents in the Philippines. So, solo parents who carry such ID can enjoy certain government discounts and benefits. So, binabasa ko lang siya guys kasi hindi rin ako totally. Ano dyan? Basta ang alam ko may benefits. Na, shh! Okay, so who can apply for a Solo Parent ID? Any single parent in the Philippines can apply for a solo parent ID according to Republic Act Number no. 8972 on the Solo Parents Welfare Act of 2000-2000. A single parent is, first, a woman who gives birth as a result of rape and other crimes against chast chast chastity, even without, basahin na yun ha, even without a final conviction of the offender. Provided that the mother keeps and raises the child. So, yung mga na-rape. So, wag naman sana. Sana naman wala naman mga ganun. Pero, hindi kasi may iwasan. May mga, baka may instances na ganun. Two, parent left solo or alone with the responsibility of parenthood due to the following circumstances. Death of spouse. Spouse is detained or is serving sentence for a criminal conviction for at least one year. Physical and or mental incapacity of spouse as certified by a public medical practitioner. Legal separation or de facto separation from spouse for at least one year as long as he, she is entrusted with the custody of the children. And that's where I am. Declaration of nullity or annulment of marriage as this decree. Ang higit ng English dito. By a court or by a church as long as he, she is entrusted with the custody of the children. Now, oh, please. And the third, unmarried mother, father who has preferred to keep and rear, 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 her, his child children instead of having others care for them or give them up to a welfare institute. Fourth, any other person who solely provides parent care and support to a child or children. And five, any family member who assumes the responsibility of head of family as a result of the abandonment or disappearance of parents or solo parent. So guys, in short, dito na lang tayo pumasok sa naging case ko. Yun sa akin kasi is nahiwalay ako sa tawin ng mga anak ko. So doon ako pumapasok sa parent left solo or alone. So and that is legal separation or de facto separation from spouse for at least one year as long as he, she is interested with the custody of the children. Well, actually, it's not, hindi ganun yung case naman. Basta hiniwalay kami. Yun lang naman yung common eh. Sa nakikita ko ha. Yun lang yung common. So, naghiwalay kami. It's actually five years ago already. So, kasi sabi nga dito, at least one year na separation bago ka magbigyan ng privilege na kumuha nito. Yeah. So, okay. So, ayun na guys. Binasa ko na. So, let's proceed now to the solo parent ID requirements. Okay? Okay. So, nandito na tayo sa important step. Ang uh, uh, paglakad ng requirements. So, first, na kinuha ko is barangay certificate. Yes. Kailangan mo ng barangay certificate. So, hindi siya barangay clearance ha. Barangay certificate. Iba pala siya. So, oo oh, nga. Uh, 50 pesos yung binayaran ko dito sa amin. Ayaw ko sa inyo kung may mga bayad or something yan. Tapos, isang, ano naman yun, itatype lang nila yun. And yung iba, yun nga, sa computerized. So, itatype, uh, hihingin yung details ng bata, pangalan ng bata, and pangalan mo yata. Pangalan, oh, pangalan ko. 
And then, kung para saan gagamitin. So, I said, I'm going to apply for a solo parent ID. That's the first one. Second is proof of financial status. Well, eh, hindi ako nagpasa ng ganito. And, na-approve na, na naman yung ano ko. Pero, it's one of the requirements siguro talaga na if you're an employed solo parent, secure a copy of your income tax return through your company's human resource department or through the BIR. Work from home parents, on the other hand, must present a document that will validate your income level to DSWD. Okay, but in my case, I am full-time employee, pero, pero hindi ko, hindi, alam ko hindi talaga ako nagpasa nun. Although, I can give them a copy of my payslip if ever needed or or this one, the income tax return. Meron ako niyan. And then the third one is supporting documents or certificate. So, those are the, uh, my birth certificate. Or, let's say, your spouse debt, declaration of nullity of marriage, or medical certificate. So, sa akin, um, hindi ako nagbigay ng any supporting documents. Since we're not married naman, so we have, we don't have naman yung mga hiwalayan pa factor, yung mahiwala yung factor. Basta, wala ko rin yan. And then, birth certificate of your child or children. So, I have to get, so, I gave two original PSA copy of your birth, birth certificate. And then, original, pero pinaserox ko rin naman. And then, filled up solo parent ID application form. So, makakahingi kayo niyan sa, oh, yeah. sa inyong munisipyos na doon sa may sabihin nyo lang sa DSWD. And then, hingi lang kayo ng form sabihin nyo mag-apply kayo ng solo parent ID. And then, ang natatandaan ko nung kumuha ako niyan is ang dami mong pipilapan sa form. You have to disclose all the information about your financial, financial status, magkano yung inuupahan mo kung nangungupahan ka, and magkano yung ginagastos nyo, like your, 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 your usual electric bill, water bill, kung may internet ka, and then sino yung pinaka-main tao na nagsusuporta sa family nyo. And then, kung magkano yung income mo. Uh, and then, bakit kailangan mo mag-apply ng solo parent ID? ano kailangan mong suporta? Yun yung mga alam kong sinagutan ko. And, you don't have to answer it all in English naman. Kasi, kailangan mo lang masabi talaga yung, yung explanation mo. So, nagtagalog lang naman ako doon. And then, so, yun na nga. Also, hiningian ako ng not-not wait lang guys ha let me notario if i'm not pumunta ako sa mga nagdo notario noon eh and then binayaran ko na ni 200 let let me just ayun guys yung about sa sinabi ko pala na kailangan niyo ng supporting documents yun yata yung pinadala ko na uh, yung nagpanotaryo ako nun eh, parang katunayan na matagal na talaga kami hiwalay, parang sa may denype yun sa yung, yung mga, mga, mga nagpanotaryo, yung pag yung may tawag doon, sorry guys, I have bobo match yung basta sabihin nyo, for solo parent eh kaya hiningin kasi ako ng ganun eh 200 pesos yung biniyaran ko nun ang denype niya is yung pangalan ng anak mo hiningin niya na tinignan din yung birth certificate kung tama eh Kasi yun lang yung hiningi sa akin. Alam na nila yun, guys. Basta notaryo yun. 200 pesos. So, i-ready nyo rin yan. And then, what else? So, yun. Yun lang po. Yun lang yung naging requirements ko. And then, sa akin, ang natitikman ko pa, natitikman, ang na-appreciate ang na, 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 na ko palang na privilege or benefit ng pagkakaroon nun is yung parental leave. So, since I am working sa company ko is we have 7 days na solo parent leave it's a special case so yun nga additional credit siya ng leave for me as a solo parent well you, usually you can use that for you know, ba, may, may, may sakit yung anak mo may dika may, uh, may, may basta magpapagamot and then sa mga, mga birthday or 7 7 lang siya 7 leave 7 leave lang siya sa loob ng isang taon and then, kasi I got my card just last of October, last October. So, natapos na yung birthday ng anak ko nun eh. Hindi na ako nakapag-file. So, nagamit ko lang siya December. And then, yeah, may mga ibang instances. Basta sa school, pag may mga meeting. So, kasama yan sa leave mo. And then, nag, 
nag first communion pa yung anak ko so nagnaranasan ko rin siya and then yan yung mga christmas party ng bata ko may pasok kaya pwede mo siyang gamitin sa mga ganon but sabi yan ito na pala attend to personal milestone of their child birthday graduation so yun nga meeting sa school PTA meeting so perform parental obligations such as enrollment and attendance in school programs so yun nga attend to medical yo know, yes the medical social spiritual and recreational needs of their children and other similar circumstances you know para sa bata sa anak mo so as a solo parent ay ah, as a solo parent yun, yung ikaw mo lang ang magagawa noon and then flexible work schedule solo parents may request for a flexible work schedule from their employer so they can give more time to their children their benefit how this benefit however depends on the employer so that's correct it depends with your employer and sadly it's not my employer employer is not like that so i can only get the privilege of privilege privilege of having seven more leap credit okay and then no work discrimination that's true no employer should shall discriminate against any solo parent employee with respect to terms and conditions conditions of employment on account of his or her status as stated in the solo parent act so yes that's true no work discrimination so additional support and assistance if applicable is if a solo if the solo parent falls below the poverty threshold set by the national economic and development authority he or she can avail of educational housing and medical assistance the solo parent can request for such assistance from the department of health commission on the higher education technical education and skills development authority and or the national housing authority but i'm still not into those uh, extra support so like i said guys kinuha ko siya because of the credit because yes every milestone of your child is very important you don't you, you don't want to miss it especially once in once once lang mangyayari yun like syempre grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 hindi naman silang habang buhay grade 1 diba so we wanted to every milestone na nandun tayo sa tabi nila so as solo parent we don't want it to be as a blockage para hindi natin yun maging maging possible so sana in um anyway guys this solo parent id nakuha ko siya after a month pero sabi kasi tatawagan kayo but please please if you do have the contact number of your municipal and then the DSWD, better call them because sa akin wala akong na-receive na text and then I ask them lang, nag-follow up lang ako na uh, andyan na po ba yung ID ko and then I gave my name and then sabi, oh meron na already to proclaim na so punta ka na dito. So diba parang kung hindi ka magtatanong, ano maghihintay na lang ako na nakusa. And then, so yun, you better check it na lang. Kung malapit kayo, that, that's good like me, so follow up lang kayo. And then, ano pa ba? Guys, hindi, bigyan ko kayo ng follow-up after kung ma-confirm ma, ma talaga. Kasi nung nagpanotaryo ako nun sa mga bata, may mga nag-uusap-usap doon. And sabi nga nila, parang mag magkakaroon doon ng problema if lumaki yung bata na pinapilido mo sa'yo. Because my second child was uh, using my surname. So, my surname and my middle name. So, Medyo, yun nga, may worries ako kasi lalabas nga rin na magkapatid kami. It's better daw na if you're not going to use the father's surname, uh, don't use, you can use your surname but don't put the middle name. Yun yung sinabi, yun yung nalaman, yun yung natong. So, hindi pa rin ako nakakapag since busy ako sa work and then, ang dami kong ginagawa and then I wanted to pursue this video, this, this, this channel. So, I have no extra time to do and go to munis municipio, to municipio. And, alam ko napakarami na. Also, I'll try my best to give you some information how I process nung nagpapalit ako ng pangalan dun sa birth certificate ng anak ko kasi yung surname ko sa birth, ah, yung middle name ko sa birth certificate niya is mali. And, there's a lot of process na nangyari dun. So, this is short video yun, guys. Comment down below if interested kayong malaman yun. And please, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you really want to see more videos with me. Of me, not with me. Of me. Bye, guys! Wait! Bye! Say goodbye again! Bye-bye!